for any major port like Harwich Harbour, which is the home to the ports of Felixstowe and Harwich, and provides safe entrance to the upriver ports of Ipswich and Mistley, having safe navigation channels and safe berths is vital. But because the harbour acts as the exit for the outward flows of the rivers Orwell and Stour to the sea, it is always liable to silting, and the build-up of sediment could quickly make deep water channels and berths too shallow and unsafe. So Harbour Authority, the Harwich Haven Authority, organises and manages regular maintenance dredging within its areas. This dredging operation in November 2019 employs trailing suction hopper dredger HAM316, which sucks up sediment from the harbour bed. And this smaller vessel, Damon Shoalbuster Tug Bommel, which tows a plough dredge over the harbour bed. Vessels carrying out plough dredging always have a similar A-frame at the stern and are recognisable from their operation routine, going ahead and astern in short alternate bursts of a few hundred yards or less, working much harder when going ahead. Ploughs are used in two main ways. Firstly, to move bulk quantities of harbour bed material, which would be inaccessible to the larger dredger, into a position where they can be removed safely. The other use of ploughing is to level off the seabed in an area where dredging by the larger dredger plant has been carried out. The plough is only towed on the harbour bed in one direction, and when the tug is backing up to start a new run, the plough box is lifted away from the seabed surface. The exact depth of the plough blade and the precise details of each towing run is recorded using GPS data so that the work can be fully recorded and measured. We'll bring you more detailed harbour and shipping video on Shipping TV soon.